OK, so we have been asked to do a book review um, to celebrate World Book Day. And the one I would like to do a review on is a novel called Jemima J, and it's by the author Jane Green, as you can see um, on the slide there. So these books um, or the novels that Jane Green writes, they tend to be, um, there's always an element of something going wrong, but they always end up as a feel good book by the end of the story. Um, so if you're looking for a relatively nice, easy read um, that's going to leave you feeling better by the end of it, Jane Green books are the ones for you. Um, I don't know if she's written anything lately, but this is one of my favourite books and I have read it many times. Um, I say it's quite a good one for giving you a bit of inspiration if your life's not quite going where you want it to. It's like, right, I'll read that book because um, basically the story of Jemima, which it's about, um, she is working for um, a place called the Kilburn Herald, which is um, a local newspaper. And she wants more from her life. So she's currently living with some not very nice flatmates who are really sort of thin and pretty and glamorous, but not very nice. Um, she says working at the newspaper, but she would like to be higher up the ranks and do because she feels she is better than the role she's be currently working in. Um, and she is. But I say this is just one element of her life that's not quite going where she wants it to because she's also because she's unhappy with herself, she tends to comfort eat. So she is about like seven stone overweight at the beginning of the story. Um, and she really wants to find a, some a guy, fall in love, get married, all the sort of the normal young lady's dreams, if you like. Um, that come in these stories. So she because she wants to find love and she does love has feelings for a guy within the um, newspaper but these feelings aren't reciprocated and she's fairly sure that's because of how she looks like so she decides to join an online dating website and these are back in the really early days of the internet so this is like back in the 90s so for young ones now this is like they're all over the place um, but back in the day it was a very new thing um, and you have to obviously put your profile picture on there, as you do now. So she goes to the Photoshop department with one of the girls she works with, who is really nice and wants to help her. Um, and they go and they Photoshop her picture, basically, and they keep her face, but they put a, basically superimpose her on a completely different body that looks nothing like how she currently is. Um, and she gets chatting to a guy on this dating website who's from America and he wants to meet her. So that's all fine, but she looks nothing like how she's made herself look. So she then has to go to the gym and um, loses weight and gets herself in, into the shape she needs to be, basically. Um, so I won't completely spoil the story for you. But then she does go over to America and meets this guy and things aren't quite how she they don't turn out how she's going to think they will. Um, and it's whilst it's a story, if you like, of just like losing weight will make you happy. It's not that um there's so there's there is so much more to it than that and she eventually finds out that for her to be happy she needs there's so many multi-levels going on in her life like there is with all of us um and how just being thin isn't going to make you happy you have to actually be happy with yourself and have a certain level of self-confidence and self-esteem um so say if you're ever feeling a bit down this is actually a really good book for like if you want something you have to go and get it you have to you will get help along the way but if you want to make changes you have to instigate those changes and you have to be the one to to want to change your life um but yeah it is a really good book as i say it's not a massively difficult read you can pick it up and depending on your reading level can read it in a couple of days or a few hours if you're really speedy um and get it done but i'd say it's just a really nice feel good story and i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did um okay thank you very much <laughs>